hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem we are required to determine the force supported by the roller at e right so here we have the roller at this point e so we are required to determine the force supported by this roller at e right so we have to find the force which is which this roller will apply on this fd member of this frame right so if if i dismantle this whole frame and if I consider each individual member of this frame so then we will be able to find the forces and then we uh, we will be able to find the force supported by this roller at E right so let's say that if we consider this AC member right so this will be that AC member I have isolated this right so we are considering this AC member so as we can see that here at this point B we have 200 Newton force right so if we apply 200 Newton force in this direction so what will happen is that this DC member will apply the force on this AC in this direction right so let's say that this is the force CD right which is applied by this CD member on this AC member right so this CD will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction and it, it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward right so if i draw those components here right so this will be horizontal component of this cd force and let's say that this is our positive x and positive y direction so let's say this is cx and here we will have cy which will be acting vertically downward and this is that point c right and similarly here we will have uh, the force is the reaction force is at this pin joint a as well right so let's say that this is a x let's say and let's say that we have the vertical reaction uh, a y right this one is a x right so now if if i apply the summation of forces at point a right if we consider only this part this member a c right so let me write that we are considering member a c right so if we apply the summation of moment at point a equals to zero so as we can see that this c y component is passing through that point a so it will not produce the moment about that point a and this a x and a y are will not produce the moment about point a as well right so this c x is producing the moment about this point a so as we can see that this c x is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write plus c x and the perpendicular distance of this c x from that point a is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 so this is 0 0.6 so i will multiply this with 0 0.6 right and similarly this 200 newton force is producing the clockwise moment about this point a so i will write minus and this is 200 and the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from that point a is 0 0.3 so i will multiply this with 0.3 this is equal to 0 so from this we can write that cx is equal to 200 into 0.3 divided by 0.6 so this gives us cx equals to 100 newtons right so now we know the cx magnitude so if cx magnitude is known and this cx is the components of this cd force which is the force applied by this cd member and this ac member right so we can write that cx is equal to cd cos of theta let's say that here we have some angle theta right so as we can see that this theta is given right so if i draw a horizontal line here so we have this triangle right so we can find this theta so i can write that tan theta is equal to perpendicular of this triangle let's say that this is that point c and this e so let's say if we have this cde triangle right so this tan theta will be equal to de divided by this ce so this de length is 0.3 so i will write 0.3 divided by and this length is 1.2 right the base of this triangle is 1.2 right so this will be equal to theta 10 inverse and 0 0.3 divided by 1.2 so we will be able to find this theta right so we can write that 10 inverse 0 0.3 divided by 1.2 and this is 14.04 degrees right so we can write that this angle is 14.04 degrees right so since cx is known which is equal to 100 newtons right so cd force is equal to 100 
divided by cos of theta and theta is 14.04. So, C D is 100 divided by cos of 14.04. So, this is 103.08 approximately right. So, I will write 100 and 3.08 newtons. So, now this C D force is the force applied by this C D member on this uh, A C member right. So, as a reaction this A C member will apply the force on this C D member in the opposite direction right. So, if I consider that C D member let us say that this is that C D member right. So, this A C member will apply the force on this C D member in the opposite direction like this right and similarly since this CD for uh, CD member is a two force member right. So, this means that this CD member is under compression right. So, this means that here at this point D this CD member will also have the force in this direction right. So, this means that this CD member is under compression right. So, this is the force uh, applied by this FD on this C D and as a reaction this C D will apply the opposite force of same magnitude which is equal to C D in the opposite direction right. So, this C D will apply the same force on this F D member, but in the opposite direction right. So, this means that 103.08 Newton force is applied on this F D member in this direction right. So, now if we resolve this force into its components right. So, it will have one component will be acting in this direction right and this will be the cos component right and this is that same angle theta right. If this angle is theta right then this angle is also theta right. So, this is that uh, 103.08 cos of 14.04. So, this means that this is equal to that C x right. So, C x is 100 uh, Newton right and similarly we will have one component should be acting vertically upwards and this is the sine components right. And similarly, here we have that roller. So, that roller will apply the force on this F D member in this direction right. So, let us say that this is that E force right and this is that point E right. And similarly, at this point F we will have two forces reaction forces. Let us say this is F x and let us say that this is F y right. So, since we are interested to find this E force. So, let me write that we are considering member F D right. So, now if we apply the summation of moment about point F equals to 0. So, now as we can see that this component is passing through that point F. So, it will not produce the moment about that point F. So, only this 100 Newton component is producing the moment about that point f and it is producing the clockwise moment about that point f right. So, I will write 100 and it is producing clockwise moment. So, we will write minus and the perpendicular distance of this 100 Newton component from that point f is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3. So, this is 0 0.9 right and similarly this E force this roller force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point f right. So, I will write plus and this is E and the perpendicular distance of this E force from that point F is 0 0.6. So, I will multiply this with 0 0.6 and this will be equal to 0 right. So, from this we can write that minus 100 into 0 0.9 and this is minus E into 0 0.6. So, minus will cancel out and we can write that E is equal to 100 into 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.6. This is 100 into 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.6 and this is 150 Newtons. Right. So, this is the force that is supported by the roller at that point E. Right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.